friends it's Amanda here and today we're gonna do a little application demo and wear test with this brand new product from elf this is the camo CC cream I also have this brush this is the complexion duo brush this is supposed to work with the new CC cream so we're gonna be testing these out today I ordered all this stuff myself from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I recently did a pretty large drugstore haul, so make sure you check out that video as well. But today it's all about this CC cream. I did decide to pick up two shades. Since I was shopping online, I couldn't really tell which one was gonna be right for me. These are priced at 14 US dollars a piece. The brush is priced at $8. Now, according to this packaging, this is a full coverage product with a natural finish. And it also has a broad spectrum SPF 30, so that's always nice. $14 is a lot for e.l.f., this better be good. Before we get into the demo, let's take a close-up look at this packaging. It does have some really nice looking packaging. I think this looks pretty slick, pretty high-end. Then the shades are printed on the back. So I decided to go with Fair 120N, the N is for neutral, and Light 210N. Kind of hoping these two will mix together to form my perfect match. And these do have a little pump dispenser. As suspected, I'm pretty sure that my perfect match is somewhere in between here. I'm gonna zoom in a little bit, that way we can do a little test to see which one matches me the best. So this is Light 210 and this is Fair 120. Definitely need something in between those two. Let's kind of mix them together and see what happens. So before we get started, something I really like to do for my foundation reviews is show you a super, super close-up look at my completely bare skin. That way you can see exactly what this blank canvas looks like. So let's take a quick look at my completely bare skin. Uh, all I have is moisturizer on, so... Okay, now you've seen my skin close up. Let's apply this. I'm gonna just take one pump of each and kind of mix it together on the back of my hand. Then I'm gonna use the Complexion Duo brush to blend it out. This feels very soft and kind of flimsy. I expected it to be a little bit more stiff, more beefy. Uh, we'll see how it works. So there's my two shades. I'm just gonna mix those together. This stuff is thick. There's still so much product left on the back of my hand from where I mixed these two. So that was one pump of each color mixed together. I definitely only need one pump to cover my entire face. I know it looks crazy flat just because it's so much full coverage. I match the rest of my body. I'm not like ghostly. It looks a little bit less stark and ghostly when you zoom out, but I want to give you a close-up look at the texture of this. It's definitely full coverage. I never really like the way full coverage stuff looks on my skin personally. I like to see my actual skin a little bit, but I mean, I don't think it looks bad. It looks a little heavy through here. Yeah, kind of around the mouth. It looks a little heavy. It looks good on my chin though, which is somewhere that I have a lot of dryness. So just on my cheeks, on my skin, it. It looks pretty natural, it feels nice. Let's see about the forehead. Yeah, I can already tell this is gonna be an issue. I have a lot of dryness here too, and it looks 
a little bit cakey there already. See how the forehead wrinkles are doing? Yeah, it's already kind of getting caught in the forehead wrinkles. That happens. It doesn't look very flat, like dull looking matte. You can still see some shine reflecting on my skin. Okay, I'm gonna go finish up the rest of my makeup and see how this wears. I'm not gonna put a ton of powder and setting spray on my skin because I really wanna see how this CC cream does with as little interference as possible. That's also why I didn't use a primer. So I'm gonna finish up my makeup and then I'll check back in in a little while and see how we're doing. I think from afar it looks good. It just looks heavy once it's close up. So I don't know, we'll see. Okay, I am back fully made up at this point and I've now been wearing this CC cream for almost three hours, about two hours and 45 minutes. As you can see, I have finished my makeup. I just added a little bit of bronzer, blush, highlighter, did my brows, did my eyeshadow, and added some lipstick. I did not powder, I didn't do any setting spray, and I didn't add any concealer. This is just the CC cream. I feel like that's the most surprising part so far. Because it was so much coverage and because it was quite thick and was looking a little heavy in places, I didn't want to add any more creams to it. I just wanted to see how this camo CC cream saga was going to play out on its own. So let's take a close up look at my skin, how we're doing, how it's holding up, just about three hours of wear. Now that it's warmed up, I think, you know, it has the potential to maybe ha not look so heavy in places. So let's find out. Let's just go straight into the problem area because this was where it was looking a little bit gnarly. And honestly, I do think it looks a little bit better right now. It still has a little bit of heaviness in this area, but only when you are like HD camera zoomed in looking at it. I think it looks really nice on the cheeks. Also, I think that the under eye area looks great. That's typically somewhere where I will put quite a bit of concealer and just this CC cream, it looks pretty good. The cheeks look really, really nice. It's holding up well. Sometimes I feel like I lose product right here. I haven't been on my phone at all, so if I do lose any patches, it's not from that, but I think it looks pretty solid so far. Let's see how the forehead wrinkles are doing. Oh yeah, definitely starting to build up in those forehead wrinkles. I think if I did a little setting powder, I could prevent that. I just try to avoid powdering and setting sprays when I'm doing a wear test like this, but I could probably help avoid a little bit of that wrinkle build up if I did some primer, some powder, some setting spray. But overall, I don't think it looks too bad. It definitely looks way more skin-like than I was expecting, especially from afar. I mean, when you're close up, you can see all the flaws of anything. Nothing's gonna be perfect when you are HD zoomed into every pore you have. But I think overall, it looks really nice so far. I'm impressed. When I first touched that and it felt so thick, I was really, <laughs> I was a little bit nervous, but hey, at least at three hours, I think it looks really nice. My skin doesn't look too dull or too flat, so I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go finish up filming another video and I will check back in in a couple of hours. I wanna get at least six hours of wear on this to see how it holds up throughout the day. So I'll be back in a few more hours, okay? I'll see you there. You'll be here, cause it'll just be, it'll be now. It's time for the final check-in now. It is after six, which means we have more than six hours of wear in on the CC cream. I'm ready to get really close up and see how this is worn throughout the day. I have been doing a ton of filming, a ton of working, not like I was running a marathon or anything, but let's see how it held up. Okay, this is the first spot I wanna check in is right around the mouth here, cause that's where it's been looking a little heavy. I don't think it got any worse throughout the day. Maybe as I wore it, it kind of warmed up and melted into my skin more. Maybe a little bit of loss right here. That's pretty common for me. I kind of, it just really wears off along the jawline a lot. Cheeks still look really nice overall. Uh, probably won't do the no concealer thing. I think just throughout the day I also wore off a little bit right here. 
I feel like I could use, stand a little bit more coverage under the eyes for me personally. I do think that it wore off a little bit in this under eye area. Let's see how it held up between the brows. I don't think it got any worse. It looks pretty much the same as my last check-in. Like last time I had a little bit of buildup right here, which is normal for me. I gotta say, I am very impressed. When I first applied this CC cream, it was so thick and it just looked so heavy on my skin. I had no hope for this turning out well, but I think it actually looks really nice. It gave a lot of coverage, but it didn't make my skin look super flat or super cakey. I have a little bit of what I'm calling heaviness, just where you can really see that there's makeup on around my mouth. A little bit in between the brows, but honestly I feel like that kind of looked better as I wore it, as this product warmed to my skin. I'm very interested to see how this wears, if I can pair it with a nice hydrating primer, I would also love to see what this is like blended in with a damp sponge instead of this brush. Although the brush I thought was gonna be a total flop and it actually worked nicely. I think the application was even. It doesn't seem like it soaked up a ton of my product. So I gotta say I'm pleasantly surprised by this, especially after feeling the texture. I was expecting this to be a very mediocre product and I think it actually looks great on my skin. I love that there's some SPF in there. Obviously I had to mix two shades to get my correct match. Everything in between these two shades was either a warm or a cool undertone. And I know from using other e.l.f. face products that I really, really need to go with their neutral undertone. So the fact that I had to mix two does kind of cancel out the price tag. But especially if you can find your perfect match, I think this is a really great product. This is a great CC cream. It actually reminds me a lot of the IT Cosmetics one, but with even better coverage. The drugstore is just starting off strong in 2021, and I like to see it. I had a lot of drugstore products in my best of 2020 videos. And I have a feeling that we're going to see even more really, really stellar releases coming from our favorite drugstore brands this year. Now's the time when I want to hear what you think about this product. Have you tried it? Is it on your wish list? Are there any other products that you want to see me do an application demo with, do a dry skin wear test with? I always love to hear what you think about things too, so make sure you leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye! This is the Camo, Camo CC Cream. Okay. This, what, what? It's going great. I also have, hmm. <coughs> oh, so chef. Decently. Just. Huh? <laughs> I love yellow eyeshadow. Okay. Um, okay. I'll be back. I'll see you then. I'll see you now. Okay, I'll see you. Alright, bye. Sorry. Sorry, I'm weird. Okay. What the heck is that sound? So close. So zoomed in. Ooh, I... I have been working all day. I worked a lot yesterday, too. I know that doesn't sound impressive if you think that what I'm talking about is weekdays, but today is Sunday and yesterday was Saturday and also I work all the weekdays too. <laughs> so I'm just tired. Getting old. Oh, I gotta go switch over my laundry. Don't forget. Does anybody else feel super accomplished and adulty if you do an entire laundry cycle all in one day? Like you wash it, dry it, fold it, and put it away. That's like gold medal adulting right there. That and like, paying your taxes. Most adult things ever. Now I'm stalling a little bit because once I get up, I have to go and make dinner. <laughs> Plus I don't want to take this eyeshadow off because it looks so cute and pretty. Okay, probably nobody cares about my life story and my laundry and cooking dinner and stuff we all do. It's just life. That's when life happens, when you're doing laundry and doing your work and making dinner. And Yep, still doing it, still rambling. Okay, I'm gonna go. All right, I love your face so much. I'll talk to you soon, okay? I love your face, all right?